Today we're diving into a topic that's been on the minds of many in the technology career space, and especially for those people that are interested in starting a career in technology. Will AI replace my job as a cloud engineer, or a software engineer, or a DevOps engineer? It's a question that's gaining importance as technology continues to expand at an unprecedented rate. So stick around as we explore the possibilities and shed some light on what the future might hold. Now let's kick things off by talking about automation and routine tasks. Artificial intelligence is making strides in our field of being able to automate routine processes. Tasks that used to take hours can now be completed in minutes. And that is all thanks to the likes of ChatGPT. Whether it's optimizing resource allocation or managing security protocols, automation is changing the game. But does this mean that your job is at risk? Well, not necessarily. It kind of depends. Whilst AI excels at repetitive tasks and writing small scripts that can help you in your work as a cloud engineer, there's a lot more to work in a technology job than just these routine technical operations. It's about understanding complex systems, making strategic decisions, areas where the human expertise will always come out on top. And that ease of communication between human interaction from yourself and a client will never be beaten by AI. Now the next thing I want to talk about is the evolving role of what a cloud engineer actually does and why I think we should see AI as a friend and not a threat. Cloud engineers are now taking on more strategic responsibilities which could be focusing on architecture, focusing on design, focusing on how to optimize your cloud platform. If we can get into a position where we have AI completed the routing tasks, then as cloud engineers, we can shift our attention to the high level tasks and the high level processes that need more attention. Because being an engineer or an architect, these high level tasks require a lot of critical thinking. And it's not just the critical thinking on the technology side, it's actually the critical thinking behind what does a business actually need? How do they get the best out of all the cloud services? I don't believe that the shift diminishes our role, I believe that actually enhances it. The cloud engineer of the future is not just a technician, they're not just an engineer, they're not just someone that's writing infrastructure as code, but they're actually a strategic partner in an organization's growth. Someone that's actually gonna be leveraging AI tools to deliver solutions. Now I wanna expand my point on the human elements of actually being a cloud engineer. As I previously mentioned, AI is fantastic at crunching numbers and optimizing processes and routine tasks, but it does lack the human touch. Creativity and empathy for understanding a client's business needs brings a lot of unique challenges and qualities that a machine just cannot give. AI is unable to replicate that. The ability to communicate effectively and solve context problems and adapt to environments remains firmly in the hands of cloud professionals. Now, as a cloud engineer or someone who is aspiring to be a cloud engineer, it's crucial to recognize these human-centric skills because being very competent and knowing how to communicate with human beings and having that empathy is gonna set us apart from AI. And let's face it, if you were a client who was talking to a consultancy for a two million pound deal, do you wanna to talk to a computer through that? through the entire project delivery process, or do you want to talk to a human being? I think we all know the answer there. Now moving on to point four is the collaboration with AI. The key to navigate in the future is actually embracing the collaboration, embracing AI and using it as a technology professional to enhance your role. We need to get behind the idea that AI is going to be a good tool for us and it isn't a replacement. By working hand in hand with tools like ChatGPT, cloud engineers can achieve unprecedented efficiency and accuracy in their job. We need to start considering it a partnership between humans and machines. Because let's face it, in the future that is how we are going to achieve optimal results. Now I have used ChatGPT in my job on many occasions. There's things that it's great at and there's things that it's not very good at. Now, as an example, one way I like to use ChatGPT is if I am receiving an error message, for example, in VS Code or in the AWS console, and I don't know what that error message means or Google isn't really pushing me in the right direction, there's mixed reviews online, I can put that error message into ChatGPT and nine times out of 10 is gonna give me the answer. One thing I can think of recently is that I had a list string set up on a Terraform with a variable for the subnet range when actually it should have been the subnet ID. So I should have configured that to use an output it was a Monday morning, hadn't had my coffee yet, wasn't really thinking that straight. I put it into ChatGPT and it said, well, this error message is give me a side range. You actually need a subnet ID. So you need to configure your output that you've configured in your child module to pull through that subnet ID into your root module. Now that obviously just went over my head. Now I could have been stuck there on that Monday morning, you know, a little bit tired, not really thinking straight. It's the first day of the week, going through with Google, seeing what to do. But instead, I just quickly put it in ChatGPT, got the answer straight away. So these real world examples show how cloud engineers and AI can actually complement one another. And ultimately, it leads to better outcomes for the business and for yourself as a professional. You get your work done faster. The client gets their work delivered faster. What you need to do as a human being is actually monitor the quality control throughout that project. 
Now moving on to point six is the actual continuous integration, learning and adaption. The technology landscape is dynamic and to stay ahead, cloud engineers must be committed to ongoing learning. Being a cloud engineer, you are very much a jack of all trades and a specialist in quite a few different areas, whether it's networking, writing scripts, virtualization, storage, databases, infrastructure as code. Now being a cloud engineer or a software engineer, you need to stay up to date with the latest trends. If you are staying up to date with the latest trends, you're going to be getting ahead of your peers. If you're going to be getting ahead of your peers, you're going to be working on projects that you didn't think you'd be working on before. Your peers are going to be left behind. You're going to be earning more money because let's face it, a lot of these AI platforms are actually built on the cloud. So being proactive in developing your skill set, understanding how AI platforms actually work in the cloud, how you can deliver them is going to set you apart. The key to future proofing your career is not resisting change, but it is about becoming a lifelong learner. So to conclude, the question isn't whether or about will AI actually take your job. The question is about how you as an individual and as a business can leverage AI to enhance your role. Now let's face it, who creates AI? Software engineers, data engineers, where is AI hosted? Primarily on cloud platforms, who delivers cloud platforms? cloud engineers who integrates the process between the developers and the cloud engineers to deploy the software in an automated fashion devops engineers so there's always going to be some sort of role within technology within the many coming years and i think before we actually get to a point where ai takes our job it has a lot of work to be done because let's face it technology professionals like myself we are using chat gpt most weeks we know what is good at, we know what is bad at. And from someone with actual personal use of using it to help me in my job, it really is not as good as people think. It is amazing at a lot of things, but being able to replace technology professionals and automate an entire job, I wouldn't think so. I don't think the roles will be replaced in the future. I think they will be changed heavily and the role of a cloud engineer, software engineer, DevOps engineer will change slightly. As always, thank you for watching. If you have found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you want to stick around and see more videos. If you're interested in how I did become a cloud engineer, I have a video on my channel where I set out my targets to become a cloud engineer with a three month intensive training plan, and it covers a lot of topics on how I was able to achieve that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below on how you think AI is gonna change your job, whether you're still interested in pursuing a career in technology or any other video ideas that you would like to see from me.